about to leave already packing come with me i'm not hello friends and enemies i have a box in this box are 20 historical paperbacks that i ordered off ebay i've covered my address and we're gonna open it so let's do it hold on i already cut it because i learned my lesson but this is the inside of the box there's some styrofoam don't need that then there's a trash bag where's my phone all right we're getting this open now um cool cool they sent me a bookmark all right um so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna reach in this bag and start pulling books out because I stand while I film, so I can't like, <laughs> there's no easier way. We're not gonna read summaries, we're just gonna look if there's a step back and I'll tell you the title. Kristen Hanna, When Lightning Strikes. I already, this one's really pretty. Um, Slightly Tempted by Mary Below. Look at that, shiny. Twilight Key by Christine Robb. Look at that. That's spicy. Celeste Bradley's Devil in My Bed. Ooh, we gotta step back. So when I ordered this, I said I wanted like Beverly Jenkins. I didn't ask for step backs, which was a total mistake. Uh, Pale Moonstalker by Cheryl Helene. Um, can we talk about the, this indigenous man's face in the background? I'm a little concerned. Love with the Proper Husband by Victoria Alexander. And this also has a step back. Which is right here. This is a pretty good one, honestly. It's very, like, clinchy. Stephanie Lawrence to Distraction. There's the step back quite like it this is like the painting style oh this is our 20th Avon book that's wild yes Joanna Lindsay's until forever <gasps> look at it oh my gosh I don't have this one yet so it's perfect I'm gonna have to cut her like some of these I'm not gonna keep and some of these I'm gonna keep but this is exciting I love a good Joanna Lindsay cover they're just they feel very iconic to romance history Michelle Willingham's Warrior's Touch. There isn't a step back, but there's like this. He's like rubbing her foot. What? <laughs> All right. Oh, I dropped it. Okay. Tina St. John's Heart of the Flame. No step back. I've never heard of her. Okay, so these have like that used bookstore smell. Does anybody else, like, do you know the different smells of books? Like, Target books smell different than, like, thrift store books or, like, used bookstore books. Oh, this one's a little beat up, but that's okay. This is Jehosi, Jehosi, Josie Litton's Dream Island. We're almost there, guys. I got Julia Quinn's Splendid, which is, this must be a 90s reprint. Um because it's got all those pansies on it, which is very weird. I don't, pansies, really? Okay. Oh my God. Sarah McKenzie's Secret of a Highwayman. <laughs> He's like off in the distance. I just want to Photoshop my own face onto his face right now um, and be off in the distance. <laughs> Oh, some of these are so awkward. Like, that's not hot. That's weird. I'm in the sky staring at you because I love you. Charlotte Hubbard's Sahara Splendor. I feel like this is going to be problematic as fuck. Um, there's, there is no thing, but there is this on the back. Um, this feels very, like, tender as the storm, although she's a little too high for that, but yeah. Like, she's too high up on him, but okay okay we'll see how this goes uh, okay so joanne 
Joan Joanne. Joan Wolf, The Deception. The back of this is a letter and it's like, dear reader or gentle reader, let me say straight off, it was not my idea to trap England's greatest hero and most eligible bachelor, the Earl of Greystone, into marrying me. My uncle, Lord Charlwood, was the moving force behind that little plot. If my father hadn't been murdered and left me in Charlwood's power, none of this would have happened. Candace Camp's The Promise of Tomorrow with a step back. God, I should have asked for more step backs, y'all. I love that it's like <laughs> the, the cutaway picture is these random swans and a fountain. Oh, this one's real beat up. That's fine. This is Rebecca Brandywine's The Anifold Key. I'm emptying the bag right now because there's three left and I can't quite get to them. Okay. Brenda Joyce's Splendor. Jeez, this is a, honk and a honker of a book. Like what's on earth? That's an interesting cover. Okay, we have two more. Christmas Eve Kitties. Kittens. This is a contemporary, y'all. This, what? <gasps> but it has my favorite thing. So I love when I find old books that still have the mail aways. I just think it's really interesting. So I don't know how this ended up in my box, but it did. And then, oh, I'm excited. Okay, is this a silhouette? Oh, it's a zebra. <gasps> I don't have any of these yet. So this is a zebra uh, category romance from the 80s. I'm pretty sure this is 80s. 2002, what? Hmm, okay, cool. So this is actually 2002, which is surprising. This also still has the mail away in it. So that's cool. And uh, yeah, I'm, this is a cute cover, I like it. I'm interested. Uh, so yeah, those are the 20 books I got in my mystery box. I think this is a really fun thing to do if you're interested in it. If not, don't do it. Go in obviously knowing like, you're gonna get what you get. Um, throw that away anyways yeah so this is really fun I wanted to share with you also a quick little haul because I got like a couple other books recently and I don't want to make another haul video and I don't feel like doing a recently added to my Kindle video um it's a lot so I'll bring it back So I've got three other books I got physically I want to share with you. I got Deal with the Devil, Ooh, if I can hold it, by Kit Rocha from Love Sweet Arrow. I also have uh, You Had Me at Ola coming from Love Sweet Arrow this week, and I'm not going to haul it. Uh, I got Managed by Kristen Callahan. We're doing a traveling book with about a couple of us um, that are friends, and we are, uh, this is my pick. I can't wait to make everyone read it. And then I also got the Lightning Thief yeah, Illustrated Edition on Amazon because it was eight dollars. I'm trying not to buy books from them, but like eight dollars. Eight dollars. I couldn't not. Like I can't not buy this. And I need the rest of these to come out because I can't I'm not collecting the illustrated Harry Potters anymore. So I really need these. Anyways, that is my haul. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you picked up a mystery box and if you did and put up a video I want to go watch it because I I'm, I'm really into watching these right now and if you want to pick one up also if there's a book that I hauled in that that you think I need to read immediately let me know I will talk to you soon with another video be sure to like and subscribe drop a cute emoji in the comment box if you enjoyed and watched this far and I will see you in a few days with another video bye really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know